hundreds of, of wind turbines which are right in front of us. But they got it right. This is the right place to put them. But I'm holding the steering wheel at like 2 o'clock. Look at this. To keep going straight. It's crazy out here. We've arrived here at Santa Rosa Lake State Park in New Mexico. We had a rather tiring drive today, driving in from uh, Oklahoma across the panhandle of Texas. And it was just incredible wind that we were battling most of the time until we entered into New Mexico. And it kind of abated a bit. Um, but here we are, we've arrived at Santa Rosa Lake state park never been here before i'm not sure what river is dammed up here but we have a dam right here to our left that has created this lake we plan to stay here just the one night head into santa fe tomorrow here is the dam um, we're having some car troubles with the electronics right now um, so we're going to try to find a Ford dealer that can repair that, perhaps in Albuquerque. So that's a concern of ours. But right now, it's really a beautiful scene here. We'll be at our campsite in a few moments. We'll just enjoy our time here. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We have some time to explore this place. Santa Rosa Lake State Park. New Mexico. We arrived at our campsite here at Santa Rosa. I'm just walking up a little trail here nearby. I just love this terrain and the vegetation, the prickly pear cactus back. Very beautiful day here. We had a little trouble with the RV, as I said, but a couple of rangers here, Gary and Paul, were absolutely outstanding and we solved the problems. And the RV is in business, no problem. And here we have the New Mexico, New Mexico landscape. Take a look at the lake and the distant hills or mesas that are in the area. I love it here. Here we have a view of the boat launch. And just to the right, we see the dam. And that is a pile of rocks beyond that structure that blocks up what I believe is the Pecos River. And we only have this one day here at Santa Rosa Lake State Park because uh, it's really just a stopover to Santa Fe for us. Um, but we're going to try to experience just a little bit more. So we're taking the Shoreline Trail. As you see, it's a very short trail. I suspect it's going to be rather steep as we're up on a hill here. Let's go check out the lake.
Well, the trail didn't bring me where I actually thought it would, so we did a little bit of rock scrambling here. And we worked our way down to an arm of the lake. And we'll take a look at that. Really awesome scenery here. So good to be here. Look at this. We have these rock ledges here. And the lake, a little piece of it. This is just wonderful, wonderful. Look at this. Look at this landscape here. We're going to scramble our way back up those rocks and return to the campsite in a minute. Standing outside the chapel, the Loretto Chapel, with a miraculous staircase. And we are going to head inside in a moment. We're in Santa Fe, which means holy faith.
little bit we've seen of Santa Fe. It's a very beautiful city. I understand it's the third highest city in the United States in terms of elevation. And it is the highest state capital. I think it's about 7,200 feet elevation. We really should spend more time here, but we're heading over to Albuquerque to meet a friend. And we did get on a little piece of the Santa Fe Trail. And we're going to head up this block right here, which has the San Miguel Church, the oldest church structure in the USA, built under the direction of Franciscan Fathers around 1610 right here and then just up the block they claim not sure how they claim this but they claim the oldest house in the USA built in the 1600s right here this is in fact the oldest house they claim in the entire country the church for a minute. Okay. Ah, in the west portion. And here we see some of the snow-capped mountains here on April 19th in Santa Fe. What a beautiful city. Really in the Rocky Mountains, right in the foothills here. Amazing. Very pretty. So we are on the Mesa Point Trail, which is the steepest trail in this section of the park. We'll go up a ways. We're standing atop the Mesa right now, and you can see just how close this National Monument is to Albuquerque. We have the suburbs right in front of us, the city sprawling out in front and to the right, and the Sandia Mountains in the background. What a view from up here. Let's zoom in a little bit. As we come around, we'll see downtown Albuquerque. Right there on the right. Incredible view up here. Here's a view looking generally uh, west. Right down here is our RV. There it is.